Hello, so today we are going to be discussing numerical and corporation. Um, so numerical and corporation. And so what does this all mean? Um, and so in ASL, when we take a sign and we take a number, mix them and sign them at the same time, we get numerical incorporation, which doesn't actually exist in English. There's no way to incorporate one word into another word. Um, it's very rare to exist in spoken languages to actually confuse them and say them at the same time. Um, it is possible, but most of the time you can't. So in ASL, though, we can take two signs and definitely 100% sign them at the same time and hold both meanings to create a singular sign to that means both things. So um, today we are going to talk about different ways to incorporate numbers and signs. Um, and really, there is one important rule, and that is one through nine only. So all of these numerical incorporations that we're going to go over um, only work with numbers 1 through 9, and that's it. So you can't sign anything above the number 10. So 11, 12, doesn't matter what, you can't do that. It has to be the numbers 1 through 9. Um, and we'll talk about some caveats and some exceptions to that rule and stuff like that. So three months. So if we want to mix those two together, right, we have the sign for month, which is the one hand shape. Um, two one hand shapes and the number three and we're just going to replace the dominant hand one hand shapes into a three And we can even add our tense into that we can say three months into the features or three Months into the past we just have to move it in that directions when we're done So three months into the past so and you can either hold that three or change it to an open B And so what that's going to look like in gloss is just like this Three and months and we're going to put those in brackets and that's again to kind of show you that it's at the same time, it's something different, it's not like your other class rules, um, so it's slightly different on how we write it. So again, we're going to take the sign for a year, and we're going to take the number two and do them at the same time, two years. Again, two years into the future or two years into the past is possible as well. Um, and you tend to see this, you tend to see people shortcut it. They don't go or the entire journey around the other hand. It's much faster to just bounce off the top, right? So <laughs> not, um, in the real world, you won't see a lot of deaf people sign it that way. They prefer to do it super quick and kind of just bounce off the top um, into the forward or backward directions. And so the last one we're going to go over is two weeks. And there was very quickly on how I signed that, right? So again, we take the sign for week and we take the number two and put those together two week or three weeks, or five weeks, or six weeks, seven, eight. And remember, we can go all the way up to nine weeks. So we can do all these different numbers. We can't do 10 weeks, it doesn't work. Uh, that's, a, that's a rule. <laughs> it breaks the rule of the language. Um, but all of these perfectly acceptable one through nine hoops. <laughs> um, we'll talk about that in the next video. Don't know why that fell off. Um, not as sticky as I thought it was, so let's just put a magnet there. Sorry, um, so going back. Remember, 1 through 9 is the rule, that's it. Um, and so why can we not go above 9? Why can't we do 10 weeks? Um, well, often enough, even in English, you hardly ever would say 10 weeks. That's probably, what, 3 months? 2 to 3 months? It, you know, it really depends on the months. Uh, <laughs> um, right? So typically, you wouldn't never say 11 weeks. You would say months. You would never see that. You would never hear that. You would never write that. We would typically change it. We wouldn't say 13 months. We would say next year, next year in a month, uh, right? No, where would you say, oh, in 12 months, you would say next year. You might say 10, 11 months, yes, but 12 and above, not really. We would probably just change that into years and months. Um, so that's really why we don't really even need to worry about breaking the rule of 1 through 9, because there's other ways to, to sign these things without using those specific numbers and uh, signs. So we're going to talk about a few more uh, numerical incorporations in the next video.